Well, Darren Campbell with Confident Home Solutions. Once again, I got a pathetic homeowner trying to buy it. Okay. <laughs> that was for you, Matt. Hey, Darren Campbell with Confident Home Solutions, licensed general contractor, builder remodeler in North Carolina, and we're back at that trophy job. So they've been off for a little bit and they, um, they've been transitioning, getting everything moved from their shop over to this other shop. And in the meantime, they picked up some cabinets that to go against the wall well we showed up here getting ready to install them uh, these cabinets are from Lowe's they have they're comprised of some type of MDF either way uh, that and it's not it's a compressed small particle I was concerned about using them in a, uh, a shop area where there's moisture I, th I think they're just gonna deteriorate and they're gonna have a lot of issues with them now so it just happened to be we had uh, some leftover hardwood maple cabinets that have, were finished with French vanilla. Really nice cabinets. We had them left over from a kitchen job that I misordered. Uh, we only needed 21 inch depth um, and I'd picked up 24. So I had a couple of those cabinets. We need one more cabinet. Harley's going to um, cruise on down to Concord, pick it up for us. And so we will be moving ahead. So I'll show you as, what we're doing as we move along. So the shop floor actually measured seven eighths of an inch difference from one side to the other. Uh, half inch was trimmed off the center cabinet, seven eighths off the one cabinet. With these cabinets being open on the end, uh, like a you know traditional cabinet would have um, other cabinets budding up to it, you could you typically are able to hide that type of uh, difference in floor height, but not with this, you know. Uh, quarter round only measures what three quarters of an inch tall so we wouldn't even been able to cover that seven eighths gap um the base mold we put that base mold in baseboard whatever uh thinking that a different type of um uh framing for shelves we we're going to be going over here and uh client you know changed their mind and decided to go ahead and put um cabinets over here so here you see us cutting this uh baseboard out not a big deal multi-tool definitely takes care of this I was cleaning up after it you see I'm using a shim well what you don't see is the lasers behind us and I'm able to hold that shim up and it catches the laser so I just want to tickle the top of that cabinet with that laser beam oh, yeah and I'm using that magnet there uh, to catch a wall stud. Uh, Harley's setting that other cabinet. So, a lot of times I'll come up here and grab a stud with a magnet. Uh, I don't know where I put the magnet. Right here. This, this one ends up being down here. Or is this, you can see where that one is right there. But then we just shoot a laser uh, down through there. Mark them. Now, you really don't have to put a screw down there in the bottom, but we'll, we'll put a second screw down there. Okay, so we're back at the trophy house. Um, we got these cabinets set last night. We're getting that uh, wrapped up. We've got to set another cabinet down there. Uh, actually, we got to put that cabinet together. Uh, Harley ran down and grabbed it uh, last evening, and with that cabinet, we we opted to just have them throw it together and we'll assemble it ourselves. Uh, they typically, um, I mean, it's a high quality cabinet. So we've uh, we've assembled these cabinets before um, in a pinch. Um, we use uh, Gorilla Glue, uh, the original, the one that expands. 
Uh, he's getting the staples ready, and we figured out what staples we need, and we got to, let me see, I got to take the doors off, sand on the back side of the face frame, get that all prepped, and yeah, let's do it. Um, they they have this coating on here and we found that to get a decent adhesion um, we run some sandpaper down through it so with the the original um, uh, Gorilla Glue to activate it you have to wet it down it doesn't take much water but that really helps as far as getting the the glue to kick off, to start its gluing process. We can get the clamps pulled off a lot quicker then. Stupid flares. No, I don't 
think it is? Come on, just shut up. It is. <laughs>